Technologies for Utah. Hey, we are on lesson three today, okay? So our learning target for today, ready? Thank you, that sounds better. So our learning target for today. Today I will use exponents so that I can name place value units and explain patterns in the placement of the decimal point. I will know that I have it when I can answer 1000 equals blank, which equals blank, or 3 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so first let's talk about this word, exponents. This is an exponent, okay? When there's a number, that's the base. And then when there's the number on the corner, on the top right, that is an exponent. So it can be any number. It can be five, it can be four, it can be 12, it can be 100. As long as it looks like that, it is called an exponent, okay? So this is the base of the exponent. These are called the powers of 10 that we've been using, right? So we have one is equal to 10 to the power of zero. 10 is equal to 10 to the power of one. 100 is equal to 10 to the power of two, right? Because there's two tens in 100. 1,000 is equal to 10 to the power of three. 10,000 is equal to 10 to the power of four, okay? So those are some vocabulary words that we will be using today. Okay, let's start with our fluency. We already did sprint. Now we're doing state to the unit as a decimal. Okay, so you don't need to write down anything. We're going to say this out loud. Or, yeah, we're going to say this out loud. So, basically, we read the sentence, but when you get to the blank, you're going to read it how you write it. So for nine tenths equals, how do you write this as a decimal? So you would say zero decimal nine. Okay, so now say the whole sentence together. Ready, go. Nine tenths equals zero decimal nine. Okay, 10 tenths. How much is 10 tenths written as a decimal? Really? So one drop. Decimal. Decimal zero. Good. One decimal zero. Okay, let's say it together. Everybody ready? Go. Ten, Ten tenths equals one decimal zero. Hey, I heard almost everybody. And yeah, over here. Thomas, put your mask on, please. I'm all ready. So if you're ready. Okay, next one, ready? 11 tenths equals, how do you write a class? Say it out loud. Um, one, one, three, one, two, one. One does more. Okay, now let's say it all together. Ready, Elian? 11 tenths equals one decimal one. Okay, 12 tenths equals, how do you write a class? Ready, go. One point, one point. Like that? Good. Okay, so now let's say the whole sentence together. Ready? Go. Twelve tenths equals one decimal two. Okay, eighteen tenths, Elian. How do we write eighteen tenths as a decimal? Merle? One decimal eight. Okay, let's say it all together. Ready, class? Go. 18 tenths equals one decimal eight. Okay, let's do two more. 28 tenths equals, how do we write it as a decimal? Two decimal eight. Beautiful. Okay, 58 tenths. How do we write this as a decimal? Five decimal eight. Thank you. Five decimal eight. Okay, what patterns do you see here? Marley? They all have a decimal because they all go in the tenths place, right? Okay. 
Do you see any other patterns with where that last digit goes? Marley? It ends to the right of the decimal because this is the last digit. So this last digit needs to end in this place value, okay? All right. Multiply and divide by 10, 100, 1,000. So now take out your place value chart that looks like this one. Okay, Elian, this one. Okay, ready? We're not using the markers to doodle. Nope, thank you. We are learning. Right now is not free time. Put it down. Okay. Okay, so now I am going to give you um, like an equation, an expression, and then you're going to do it on your place value chart. Okay, so first we have two thousands. So write down two thousands on your whiteboard, please. Two thousands. So you can do it as two thousands, the digits, or you can drop two place value discs in the thousands place. Two thousands. Thank you. Good job. Okay, so now we are going to do two thousands multiplied by ten. All right. So what is going to happen? Because it's a power of ten, Noah. We're going to shift. What's going to shift? The dots or the two? How many place values? One, because there's one power of 10. Okay, to the left. Okay, so this would jump over here. This would jump over here. So now we would have two, Two what? Hi. Marley. Marley. Two hundreds. Thank you. Beautiful. So now how you would write it also looks different, right? From the last one. It's zero decimal zero two. Before it was zero decimal zero zero two. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Beautiful, we did that correctly. Okay, so go ahead and wipe off your plastic or do it below. So now let's do four thousandths. Bless you. Bless you. Four thousandths. So see how exactly how you hear it, it's how you're going to write it. So four thousandths. So four in the thousands place. Everything else is placeholders. Okay, you got it in? Now we're going to multiply it by 100. Okay. So because we're multiplying by a power of 10, we're just going to shift. How many times? Two. Two because there's two powers of 10 and 100. Okay, to the left or to the right? The left. To the left. Good, Dylan. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one because these are zeros. So I'm just going to do the four. Ready? One, two, drop it down right there. What do we have now? Four oh, tenths. tenths. Good, Ledger. Hey, wipe off your board. Okay, ready for the next one? Okay, now let's do one and, so every time you hear the and, that's the decimal. One and 24,000. 
one and 24 thousandths. So that means the four ends here, the two would go next, and then a placeholder here. Okay, we're going to multiply it by 100 times 100. Okay, so we know 100 is also 10 times 10. So that's two powers of 10, right? Okay, so how many shifts? Two, left or to the right? Left, okay. This time I'm going to start on the left, on the left side because this isn't a zero, this is a one. Okay, so ready? One, two, drop it down. Now we have 100. Next one. One, two, drop it down. Zero tens. One, two, drop it down. Two ones. Next one. One, two, drop it down. Four tenths. If you write it like this, but you do not put your decimal, your answer is incorrect. You have to put your decimal. Okay, so what do we have? 102 and four tenths. Beautiful. Okay, let's try division one and then we'll move on to application problem. Ready, wipe it off. Okay, so now let's do four and one ten. Four and one ten. Write it down. Four and one ten divided by one hundred. Okay, so because we're using powers of 10, we're just going to shift. How many shifts for 100? Two. Two, because there's two powers of 10. To the left or to the right? We're dividing to the right, okay? So since I'm going to the right, I'm going to start on the right side of the digit. So with the one, ready? One, two. Drop it down right there. Okay. Next one. One, two. Drop it down right there. Okay. I don't have any more digits to shift over, but I still have a blank space, which means I need a placeholder. So what do we use as a placeholder? Zero. Decimal. And you can leave a decimal zero, 41 thousandths, or you can put zero. So notice how the decimal always stays right here. What we're moving, what we're shifting is the digits in the place values, okay? Questions? All right, wipe off your board and let's do the whiteboard and move on to application problem. Just the whiteboard? Yes, just the whiteboard. We may need, you may use your place value chart for the whiteboard problem, for the application problem. But I want to draw our equations on the whiteboard. Ready? Okay, let's start reading. Eyes up here. Jack and Kevin are creating a mosaic for art class by using fragments of broken tiles. Thank you. They want the mosaic to have 100 sections. If each section requires 31 and 5 tenths tiles, how many tiles will they need to complete the mosaic? Explain your reasoning with the place value chart. Yes, Ariana. A mosaic is a piece of art that is made with a lot of broken pieces. So it's just like if this were a portrait or it can be done on, um, 
on the floor, like in the house or outside in the garden. And it's just made with a whole bunch of like broken pieces of stone or tile or paper. So just it, so that's my way. I can show you a picture later. Okay. How will we solve this, Noah? Um, I don't want the answer yet. I want to know how we're going to solve this. I look here. Okay, do you agree with Noah's expression? Would anybody do anything different? Oh. Okay, so what do you see just from looking at this part right here? What do we need to do? Ledger. Powers of 10. Good, we have powers of 10 that we're going to multiply by. So our numbers are going to shift either to the left or to the right. Okay, so on your paper, I mean on your whiteboard or on your place value chart, you need to show, that's one, three. Okay, so here's my place value chart that I drew on my paper. You can use your plastic or you can draw it on your whiteboard. Elian, estoy acá. Volteate. No, volteate. La silla allá. Thank you. Okay, so we have 31 and 5 tenths times 100, right? Okay, so we have 2 powers of 10. So that's 2 shifts. Which way? Since we're multiplying to the left or to the right? To the left. To the left. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to start on the left side. Oh, the 3. 1, 2. Drop it down. Next, the 1. One, two, drop it down. Elian, no. Okay, the next digit, the five. One, two, drop it down. Escribelo. Thank you. Okay, don't forget your decimal to bring it down. But what goes here since we have a blank space? Zero, Zero. beautiful. Okay, here's our answer. So we have zero ones, five tens, one hundred, three thousand. So we have three thousand one hundred fifty what? Bananas, monkeys, tiles. Tiles. Thank you. Three thousand one hundred fifty tiles. Writing it down. We do not need hand sanitizer right now. Come on, focus. Thank you. Okay, so now let's write our sentence. Write it on your whiteboard. Ready? How many times will I need to complete the mosaic? You can say Jack and Kevin. Write it down. On your whiteboard. Write it down on the whiteboard. Thank you. Will need. Write it down. Write it down. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Write it down, Elian. Jack and Kevin will need 3,155. Period. Any questions? Okay, finish writing it down. Then, you will need your place by your church. And you will need the paper, the template that looks like this. It looks like that. It's in the plastic, so switch it out. Good, Bo. Take out the papers and find the one that looks like this, please. Okay, Elian, look for the paper that looks like this in the plastic. No, you're not writing it down. Take out the paper. 
Yes. Find the one that looks like this. Okay, Ariana's got it. It looks like this. The plastic, quickly. Come on. Yes, you may now erase your whiteboard. Okay. So now, this. But it doesn't have this part. So it just has 10, and then below that, 10 times 1. Can you find it? Yes, that one. All right, let's get started. So remember, we're working with exponents, okay? So the base is going to be 10 to the power of something. All right, so problem number one. On your personal board, I want you to fill in the unknown factor to complete the number sentence. So on your whiteboard, you're going to write down 10 times blank equals 10. So what goes here? What's the factor missing? Good, Alejandro, one, right? Okay, write it down on your whiteboard. Yes, on the whiteboard. On your whiteboard. So now, on the next one, 10 times blank equals 100. So what's our missing factor? Ten times what equals a hundred? Marley? Ten. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're only using ten as factors for the powers of ten. Okay? So let's write it down right here. So ten is also equal to ten times one. Write it down on your place value on your template. Yep, that's in a minute. Okay, so now 100 is equal to 10 times 10. Thank you, Alejandro. Write it down, please. Okay, so now if this is 10 and this is 100, what do you think of this is going to be? Both? 1,000. Write it down, please. You okay? Okay, so what would be our factors of tens for a thousand? Merly? Quickly, Merly? Ten times ten times ten. Thank you. Okay, so how many factors of 10 do we need to get a thousand? Three, thank you. We need three factors of 10. Anyone, quickly. Okay, so if this was 1,000, what do you think this one's going to be? Noah? 10,000. Okay. 
So now, let's look at the pattern. So if we have 1,000 and 1,000 has three factors of 10, 10,000 is going to have how many factors of 10? Four. Dylan, you got it? You writing it down? 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, now I'm going to have you work with a partner on filling in these two parts. Or you can work by yourself. No. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm going to have Ariana and Emma, Ledger, Noah, Thomas, so, and then Sophie, Merlin, and Dylan. So Sophie, you can go over here. Okay, ready? Go. Finish filling in the table on these two top rows. So don't worry. Do not worry about the third row down here yet. Just these two parts right here. Okay, go. Saying it out loud so you can hear me as you write it down. Thank you. 
Okay, so since we have powers of 10, let's write down how many factors of 10. 5, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Make sure you're listening to me so you can hear me as you write it down. And again, take those off. Take the, thank you. Okay, so if this was 100,000, how much is this? One million. One million has six zeros. So it has how many powers of 10? Six. Six. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So it has 10 six times, right? Okay. Now let's do some exponents. Ready? Do you erase it? No, do not erase. Okay, so this is now the third row. So we have 10 times 1, right? So how many factors of 10 do we have? 1. So we have 10 to the power of 1. Write it down, please. 10 to the power of 1. Write it down, Elian. Elian, 10 to the power of 1. Let her write it down, please. Okay, next one. How many factors of 10 are there in 100? How many? Thank you, Alejandro. 10 times 10, so there's two tens. So our exponent would be 10 to the power of two. Because there's two tens being multiplied together. So what do you think the next one is going to be? 10 to the power of three, beautiful. Okay, next one. So the net, since they're all multiplying tens, the base is 10, so that's the repeating base, the repeating factor, how many times? Four, so 10 to the power of four. I just did this, four, four. Okay, so Eliane, what do you think is the next one? 10 to the power of? Was there six? One, two, three, four, five. Five. 10 to the power of five. Okay, so the last one would be 10 to the power of? Thank you, Eliane, six. Marley, what's going on? Okay, focus. All right, do you see the patterns? Okay. Problem two, ready? Now, you can do this on your whiteboard or on your plastic sheet. So, now we're working backwards. So write down 10, yes. Write down 10 to the fifth power, 10 to the power of five, equals, focus, you're doing it with your marker. So write it as a product of 10. So you're writing like the equation. So how many times are we going to multiply 10? Five times, because that's what the exponent is telling us. Ready? Ledger and Noah, focus. 10 times 10 times 10, write it down, times 10, times 10. Is that five tens? One, two, three, four, five. Write it down. Thank you. So now we wrote it as the product of tens. Now we need to find the product, so we need to solve this. Okay, so now write down equals at the end of that. Write it down. Okay, 
so what does that equal? What is it equal? 100,000. Okay. I'm going to come around to check to see who's writing it down. Okay, ready for the next one? Okay, go ahead and wipe off your boards. Okay, awesome, we did it correctly. Problem three, ready? So write down 10 times 100. Write it down. 10 multiplied by 100. And I want you to write it as an exponent. So equals 10 to the power of what? Write it down. Write down the problem. So ten times one hundred. Ten times one hundred equals yes, it's a yes for sale. So let's break it apart. Ready? So here we have a 1 power of 10, right? What about 100? How many powers of 10 are in 100? Thank you, Bo. There's 2, right? So we have 10 times 10 times 10. So how many powers of 10 do we have? Letter, look. How many parts of 10 do we have? Two. We have three, so we should have 10 to the power of three, okay? Okay, problem four, ready? Okay, so compare these expressions to the ones we've already talked about. Okay, so compare these two. What is the same about them? They both have what? They both have a three. They both have three ones. I heard somebody say they both have tens. Ariana? How does the first one have two? Ten. What one? Yeah. This is the equation. This is the expression. Oh, okay. Yeah. What else is the same about these two expressions? Alejandro? They're both multiplication, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, what is different about these two expressions? Noah? Um, they're different. They're different powers of 10. Different powers of 10, right? That one, that one has two. This one has three powers of 10. Ledger? This one has a decimal as well, 
right? This one has three and four tenths. This one just has three. Okay, good job. All right, so now let's try to figure this out. I'll write down three times 10 to the power of two. Write it down, three times 10 to the power of two. And let's re rewrite the expression without the exponent. So we would write three times. And how can we change this from not having an exponent? Um, Noah? Um, you can write three times 100. 100, beautiful. These two are the same equations, okay, Elian? Instead of 10 to the power of two, we wrote down times 100. Okay, so let's solve. What's three times 100? Uh, 300. 300. So three times 10 to the power of two equals 300. Okay? So our product is 300. All right, now let's try problem five. Let's write these down without using an exponent, okay? So we're going to change these into not having exponents. Ledger? We're gonna switch these out for 100, okay? Switch it for 100. Because 10 to the power of two equals 100. So we have 700 divided by 100. 100, write it down. Thank you, Ariana. Thank you, Bo. Thank you, Thomas. Write it down, please. Thank you, Dylan. Okay, so what's 700 divided by 100? Noah? Seven. Seven. Got it, Marie? Okay, so now let's rewrite our second one. So seven and one tenth divided by 10 to the power of two, but we're going to take out the exponent, so we need to rewrite it as 100. So seven and one tenth divided by 100 equals, Noah, I have the answer, but I thought it was time. That's okay. Um, Think about it. Noah? Zero point zero seven one. Yep. That is correct. Okay. Let's see. Okay, one more problem. We have a pattern, okay? I think this is the last one. So on your problem set, if you get to this problem, it will ask you for to complete the problem, the pattern. Ready? So we have 43 thousandths. Then we have four and three tenths. Then we have 430. So what do you see as the pattern from here to here? Noah? You're adding, you're shifting. It shifting. Right. These are shifting. Left. No, they're shifting oh. left. Oh. They're shifting, but they're shifting left. So how many times did this one shift to get to this, to get to four and three tenths? Twice. Right, so the four ended up here. Okay, so if it is shifted two times, that means it's being multiplied by two, two tenths. Well, it times by a hundred, or ten to the power of two. Noah. I know the rest of the pattern. Okay, so first let me write this down. So times one hundred, or times ten to the power of two. 
Okay, so if we have 430 times 10 to the power of 2, it's 43,000. And then the next oh, one is 4,300,000. Okay, so the next one, so now we have 43,000 times 10 to the power of 2, 4,300,000. And the next one is 4 million, 43 million. Yes, that's right. Sorry. Okay, next one. So again, times 10 to the power of 2. Wait, no, that's 430 million. 430 million. Good. Hey, okay, any questions? All right, I start pulling out your Chromebooks so that you can start logging in to class, to Google Classroom, and then the class kick assignment. I'm going to come around with the problem set so you can work on it as your computer is loading. We do not want to waste any time. So you are on Google Classroom, Math Lesson 3, and then class kick. I did to this one. I make sure I remember. on that work on it for 10 minutes do not spend more than 10 minutes all right thank you for coming back now let's finish up so we did problem set so if you want answers to some of these our first one should have been 10 to the power of, not two my bad four and then 10 to the power of three 10 to the power of 2. Marley, check your answers. 10 to the power of, so I know 100 is 10 to the power of 2, and this 100 is 10 to the power of 2. So total exponents, we have 10 to the power of 4. Okay, and then 10 to the power of 6. 10 to the power of 6. Okay, number two, write the following in standard form. So we have nine times 10 to the power of three. So I know 10 to the power of three is equal to 1,000. So we also have nine times 1,000, which equals 9,000, okay? All right, let's debrief. So class discussion, ready? What is an exponent? What is an exponent? Describe it. Noah, thank you for raising your hand. Like a power of 10. Like a power of 10? Yeah. And then we put like the number of what the power of 10 is. Like that? Yeah. Okay. All right, so how would you write 1,000 using exponents? Noah? Um, 10 and then... To the power of 3. 1,000 is equal to 10 to the power of 3. All right. So even if you are dividing by powers of 10, we're still shifting in place values, okay? All right, anything else? Okay, ready for exit ticket? Okay, open up Go Formative Exit Ticket on Google Classroom. So it just says Math Exit Ticket. You just need to click login 
and then log in with your email. formative it will ask you to log in so you'll just click log in and then you will click um, log in with Google and then click on your Gmail and then allow so you'll have to scroll down and click allow yeah so you have a paper exit ticket as well. You have three minutes to get it done. I, you do not need to spend more than three minutes. Once those three minutes are up, turn in. What, Ariana? So you do it on the paper or on full formative. Okay, awesome job. Thank you.